Hi, this video is going to show you how to create a calculated question type in Moodle. So you have to make sure your editing is turned on. Then we're going to go here and visit the uh, question bank. Then we're going to create a new question. And these are the different kinds of questions you can pose. We're just going to go to a calculated question. Go to next. You're going to fill in some information about the question. So we put the text of our question. So in this question, we pose, uh, given the height of H and the base of B, what is the area of the triangle? So we have the text of the question here. And what we're going to do here is that this and this, these are variables. And so by putting this squiggly parentheses here, this is letting Moodle know that this is a variable and that they can uh, input different values uh, for these variables. So we have the question, now we have to input the formula. If you know about the area of a triangle, you know that uh, it is one half base times height. So we have to be careful when we're inputting this formula here. One half times, and we put in our variables, base times height. Okay, so then uh, we have to give it a grade. So if they get it correctly, then we'll give them 100%. Um, we can go down here. You can do some things with units um, if you want to. Uh, penalty for each time they put an incorrect uh, question. So we'll take off a quarter of a point. Um, then we're going to scroll down. There's more stuff you give hints and feedback, but for now it's just to save changes. So it's going to ask about your data set uh, properties. Uh, and if you have uh, other questions that use these same variables, you might want to share this data set with uh, B and H. Um, we're going to click on next page. Now we're going to scroll down. We're going to test. It's going to test one of the questions. So here it gives, it puts in uh, random numerical values, uh, 4.6 and 4.6, and it does the calculation and if it sees if it works and it looks like it does work. Um, you can update this. We can change this to if we want if we want the base and height to be larger numbers, we can do it. We can change those parameters. So I'm going to update the parameters. Okay. And now what we're going to do here is that we have to add a data set before we can use this as a question. So let's just add ten questions. Work. Okay, it looks like it's done the, so it added a set of 10. But now let's look at those 10. So display. And this is just to make sure that we don't have any issues. So it's going to test it 10 times. So these are our different ones. So this works, this one works, this works. So you scroll down, we see some red, and we know we have an issue. So these are potential questions that uh, can be posed here. I'm going to save changes. Now this question is available in my test bank. Uh, so hopefully that uh, was helpful. Thank you.